welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fall back to school fashion haul type of deal. I have a ton of clothes so I'm not going to be trying them on. So let's get into it. <laughs> this is the first bag. It's from Nordstrom Rack. Not all of it is from Nordstrom Rack. One thing is, um, the first thing I got from Amer Apostle. it's from the Bethany Moda line. I did get it in a large, normally I'm a medium, but you know, it just looks kind of tiny, plus it's like a crop top. It says, when all else fails, eat pizza. So they thought that was cute. Next is the item that's actually from Nordstrom Rack. It is this really nice kind of cardigan? No, sweater sweatshirt thing I don't know it's long sleeve it's kind of lightweight and it has this like cow neck and I absolutely love cow necks I think they're so slimming on me and so I will definitely be wearing these with like leggings and rain boots because <laughs> that's probably all I'll be wearing next are my sweaters I love my sweaters I live in Oregon so I love my sweaters this one is a great fall color I thought it's like a wine grape color and it's just it's three quarter lengths knit sweater it looks like that and it's from old navy the next i got off of a website called poshmark which is a website or app you can get on your phone where you buy and sell clothes i do sell clothes i've made like 200 dollars selling all of my clothes that i don't wear anymore on this website and i sell like 50 more items of my clothes on there but I happened to buy this one. It's black and white chevron. It's originally LA Hearts, which is a brand of PacSun. And it's like a little crop, crop top sweater. I don't think it's like cropped cropped, but it's like at my belly button. So I have a couple of high-waisted pants and skirts that I think would be very cute with this. So I'm excited to try that. Next is a sweater from TJ Maxx. Normally I get my sweaters in larges because I like them to be kind of big and comfy. So this one was a large and it's this kind of like coffee caramel color. And I'm really excited to wear it. It's just like a sweater and it has a little detailing on the shoulders. I'm really excited to wear this one with my bean boots, which I have in this haul. So I will show you that. Next is another item from Target. As you can tell, I love Target. Target actually has some really good deals, really good pricing, really good items. This is another cropped sweater. And it's just cream. I'm pretty sure they still have these at the store. It's on sleeve. I've worn this already like three times because I am in love with it. I love it. You can wear it with high-waisted pants, high-waisted shorts, high-waisted skirts. It's a good one. This is a skirt that I got from Hollister. They were having an online sale, so I got it. I don't remember what I paid for it, but I got it in a medium. I love the print outfit. I bought a crop top to go with it, and this outfit will definitely be in my fall lookbook. So keep looking out for that. Next, some yoga pants from Pink. And they just say Pink. And they're like leggings. They're not like yoga yoga pants. I don't think you need more explanation, so there's those. Next is another item that I bought off of Poshmark. I negotiated these down to like $10, and they're J. Crew chino shorts for $10. And they're just in black. They're the three inch, I believe. Um, next, I bought a pair of jeans. And these, this is my favorite brand of jeans. They are stretchy, comfy, wonderful, well-made. And surprisingly, they're from Victoria's Secret. These are the Siren Victoria's Secret high-rise jeans. I have two pairs. The first pair I actually bought off of Poshmark for $15. And that's like a medium wash. And then I went back on Victoria's Secret's website because I couldn't find it on Poshmark. And I bought this dark colored pair of jeans. I might actually go back on there and buy a black colored pair of jeans. And I get these in a six. And they're high rise and they are perfect. Next, I wore these actually on the plane when I came down here. It's really 
tallest her sizing is so weird. Let me just put that out there. I have a pair of five, sevens, and nines of Hollister jeans. So I don't know what size I am there. I'm normally like a four, between a four and a six in other brands. I can go either way, depending on like the fit and the stretchiness. Um, but I got these in a nine and they fit so well. They're the jean leggings. They're not jeggings, they're jean leggings. And I had it, I got them when they were having the $19 sale for jeans. And I got them in this color and they are so stretchy, so comfy. They are the best jeans I have ever put on my body. I will wear them all day, every day. And I don't like wearing jeans. So I definitely recommend these. And this is another pair of jeans from Hollister. I ordered them online. I haven't actually tried them on yet because I'm scared that they won't fit. But they are natural waist jean leggings. So I'm hoping they will. Um, those aren't natural waist, so that's why I went with the nine. These are seven and they are natural waist, so they come up higher and my waist is smaller than my butt and hips. So I figured, you know, I could be okay with the seven. And they are these gorgeous burgundy leggings and I love burgundy. It's my favorite color to wear in the fall, so I'm definitely going to be getting use out of these. There's another item off of Poshmark, but I know it was originally on Toby, if you know the online website. I bought a few things off of them before. So I got this, and it's just a faux leather skirt. I really, really like the look of this. I'm probably going to get another one because this one is just so short. It's, it's great if I have, like, tights on, but one time I didn't wear tights, and I was, like, pulling it down and, like, Definitely need to wear tights with this, but I may be looking for a longer one where I don't have to wear tights. Next is this Victoria's Secret raincoat. I actually got this free with my purchase, but I thought I'd show you guys anyway. It's like you spend $65 and you can get this free coat that was actually had a price tag on it for $40. Um, I was going to buy one anyway, so I just figured I'd get another shirt and get this for free rather than spend another $50 on like a kind of windbreaker raincoat. That's all that is. This is one of the shirts I got. The other shirt I actually have to take back because I put it on and like where the price like security tag was, there's a huge hole because apparently it got stuck or something. But this is the first shirt I got. It's just half white and half this like what is it gray navy blue pinkish like heather type deal going on it's really cute i'm excited this is a dress that i actually plan on plan on wearing for formal recruitment um preference night i got it from altered state i don't know if where you are from has an altered state but it is a shift dress and it's actually an off the shoulder dress. So it sits like this, it's not like up. It sits off your shoulders. And the sleeves are very like flowy and it has this gorgeous pattern and it's so colorful and beautiful and it just makes me feel amazing and I feel gorgeous in it. So I'm so excited. And I also got this dress, it's this beautiful, green color with a collar and it's like a smock dress and i love the look of it on it's gonna be so cute for fall next is another smock dress from um altered state again and i got this one it's so cute i've worn it a ton of times it's so flowy and gorgeous and i got it for nine dollars on their sale rack so i was like can't beat that so i got that Next is another item that I got off of Poshmark, but it's the Lauren Conrad. It's actually Lauren Conrad um, from Kohl's, and it's just this like kind of salmon -y, salmon color. Yeah, it's a salmon color. Um, tank top with like a lace back, and I might be wearing this for Rush. I haven't quite decided yet. With white, I think this would be really pretty with white jeans or, you know, dark jeans. So I'll have to pair that and see what I like. I bought this as another option for a rush. It is from Forever 21. I tell you, priced it. 
$14.80. I don't know if they still have it. It's just this blue tank top. I bought it during 4th of July and it has like buttons down the back. Um, so I don't know if they still have it. It has like a little, I don't know if you can see it. It, wasn't, it won't focus, but it has like a little dot pattern on it. I thought it was really pretty. It suits me very well. It makes me look slim. This is an item I bought from Francesca's, which I'm obsessed with. Each time I go in there, I buy something and it's really a problem. And it is this top. And it has three quarter length sleeves and it's just plain in the front. And then it kind of has a bow in the back. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, and it just drapes down and it's super pretty and I thought I could wear that with like white jeans or something for like a nice night out or whatever. Next is this cream off the shoulder crop top which I got to go with my burgundy jeggings from Hollister and this is also from Hollister. So it's just like an off the shoulder cream crop top. I don't really think there's anything more to say about that. It's long sleeve. This is a kind of, it's a fake leather jacket. It's so cute on. I love it. It's like so fitting and slimming. And it's so cute. And my boyfriend actually picked this out for me at Forever 21. So we were there and he's like, hey, this will look good on you. And got it for me. The last item of the clothes I'm pretty sure is this Brandy Melville cardigan I got this at PacSun I did not get this off of her website but it just looks like that it has this and it's very long and flowy and I love it because it's long and flowy but I got this from TJ Maxx for $20 and it's so cute um it's like a little over over the shoulder bag, or you can use it as like a clutch. It just looks like that inside. I think it really like that inside. Yeah, I have something in there. But I thought it was super cute and I'm gonna be using it a lot for nights out, nights out and stuff. Next is a bag from um, Just Fab. I do not recommend Just Fab to people. Don't do it, don't do it. But I am a member, so I got this bag and a pair of shoes. And it's just like to hold my computer and stuff. Nothing too exciting. Next is my backpack that I got for school. I am going to be starting college in three days. Well, three days is when I move into my dorm. And this is just a North Face backpack. And I broke down and paid a lot of money for this but it is so worth it. I recommend this backpack to anybody going to college. I am in love with it. Get it. First pair of shoes is actually the shoes from Just Fab, which I do not recommend Just Fab. They have horrible customer service. I could go on and on about Just Fab. Don't do it. But they look like this. They're riding boots. Um, they fit super nice. They're super comfy. Got those. This, these next pair of boots is from a company called Go Jane. It's an online website. Um, I definitely recommend them. They have super cute shoes for super low prices. This is what this pair looks like. They are brown combat boots with like this little socky thing. Socky thing. It's like a, a knit sock on the top. It doesn't go all the way down. And then I bought this pair. That's the inside. This pair of black booties from Go Jane as well. And I've worn them once. You just can't walk in them along long periods of time. But they're super cute if you're like going out to dinner or something. Maybe I'm just not used to them yet. Gotta break them in. Next is this pair of shoes that I got from Target for Rush. I actually wore them today. Um, I think I need to get booty socks because I mean they just hurt my toes kind of rubbed up against them but I think if I get like those little little socks that like go here and then across I'll be fine next I got a pair I got so many shoes I got a pair of high top white converse because I've been wanting a pair of these for forever now and so I finally broke down and bought these at the converse outlet and I love them 
Keds are still my number one. I love Keds. White Keds are the bomb. But these come in a close second. My last and final pair of shoes, I had to beg my parents to buy these for me. But they are the Bean Boots, the LL Bean Duck Boots. And I absolutely love these. I'm in love with these. If you're going to a place where you're going to hike a lot, it's going to rain a lot, it's going to, you're going to be walking a lot, definitely get these. All right, guys, that was it for my fall haul. I know that was a ton, ton of stuff, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe. Please click the like button and... I'll see you next time. Bye.